Hello everybody, it's Guiding Halo here and this is going to be your daily hope for Friday the 27th. I hope you're all doing well. Let's find out what's happening for you guys today, what you can take with you, what little thing can maybe light your spirit up a bit more than usual. I have started a new series on the channel. Leveling up the collective is what it's called. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's just more in-depth readings kind of like the dailies. I might do them weekly. I might do them more often than not. I'm not sure yet, but let's see what kind of response they get. Please do like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. I need the channel to get moving and going again. So let's see what's happening, shall we? Let's see what's happening for the daily hope. March 27th. There are so many energies going on right now. Man, is it intense. Butterfly, rebirth. Oh, someone that went through transformation and is finding a way to rebirth into the new you, huh? Beautiful. Absolute beautiful card. Look at that. Butterfly, rebirth. I'm trying to get it right for the camera. You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Look at that. So you can reinvent yourself, huh? Perhaps there's somebody, many somebodies who have been out of work recently or maybe dealing with situations you don't normally have to deal with if you are working, like being at home now and taking care of the children. Um, how can we reinvent ourselves? How can we make money while we're sitting there? What can we do? Um, yeah, there's so many different ways to make money. So many different ways. I myself recently have had found a new way to make money. I'm still working and learning and growing with it, but you know, you guys can find them too. And perhaps once I do, I will share it with you and then we can all make money together. If you're into the trading world. I'm not talking trading stocks or anything on the on the uh, exchange, um, U.S. market or you know, whichever. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So, what is it? Look at the colors that coincide here. What is it we're trying to rebirth ourselves into? I think the divine has required a rebirth. Something needs to massively transform, and we're already in the process. What is with this part of your journey? When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. So focusing on things, how the divine sees them, not necessarily how you see them. Why do I say the divine? Because I believe that the inner light that is within you is absolutely from divine source. I believe that. I do. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, my peace cannot be disrupted. So something's definitely come along to disrupt your world, disrupt your peace. And there's been an, a very big shakeup in the alignment of the planet, in the alignment of people, in the alignment of mass consciousness, to be quite honest. And it's not easy times for a lot of people. It really is not easy times. So how do we realign with the love of the universe so that our peace cannot be disrupted? How do we realign? By understanding that it's all there, by focusing on your heart light, by having some sort of hope, faith, and trust that it will all work out how it's supposed to, by starting something creative and rebirthing yourself into a situation or something you've always wanted to do and haven't done yet. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. So what is it that you know and what can you take forward turning that knowledge into wisdom? This is card number 67, which equals a 13, which equals a 4. So it's all about being divinely guided by angels, by past loved ones, all the above. Wolf spirit leads you deep into the enchanted forest that holds the secrets to your life. Can you sense her beckoning you to follow, asking you to take all you have learned and all you are learning and make it yours? 
Can you integrate it all in your body, mind, and spirit? Whatever lessons you learned along the way, do not leave them unexamined. Be loyal to your dreams, to your soul, and to turning knowledge into wisdom and experience into magic. You are the one you have been waiting for. Be still and know that the sound of your heart beats in harmony with the whole world. The appearance of wolf spirit is an auspicious omen that says you are truly in alignment with your destiny. Where have you been realigned lately? Where, what, to whom, how have you been realigned lately? You must have realigned with the love of the universe. Because it says that you are in alignment with your true destiny. Is this a matter of trusting that what is happening right now is for the highest good of your soul? For the highest calling of who you are, who you're here meant to be on this planet? Bringing something that you've created already spiritually, vibrationally in, in the spirit world into the 3D here? Is it time to bring it down to earth plane? You've had something in your soul for quite some time you'd like to create. There's a whole bunch of stories someone's telling themselves right now. Yeah, but I can't make money doing that. Well, if money is your focus, that's an issue. It seems to me you need to realign with love, right? What brings love to the world? You don't know the money that you can make when you start bringing love of who you are into this world. You have no clue. I am just telling you of the money you can make. Especially when you take inspired action. I'm telling you. See, this was upside down and I had to turn it around. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. So someone's been plodding around trying to figure out what to do, which way to go next. I don't know what to do. I'm racking your head against a wall. And in actuality, this whole time out has been about the divine putting us still so that we can move forward after they have taken care of what they need to take of, take care of for us. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. Look at these beautiful cards. They're so beautiful today. Directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. Wanting, wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance. So when you want to help others and you want to grow, help others grow in whatever area that is, look at those cards all together. My ability to receive is measured by how good I practice good feeling thoughts. Waiting for others puts me into an energy of abundance. Wanting more for others, I mean. Directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. So questions to ask yourself. What's thriving? Why am I doing this? Because I want to help the world or I want money? Are you going to receive the beauty that can come to you? Or are you going to change your are you going to change your story? Or are you going to stay in the same story of I can't this, I can't that, I can't create, I can't, can't, can't. Because when you stay in that energy... That's exactly what you bring more of to yourself, is all of the things that you can't. It's very important to make sure that your energy is aligned with that of rebirth. Yeah, look at that. Coming out from feeling in the cold. When you start this, that's exactly what happens. You come out from feeling in the cold. You don't feel anymore like you're going to struggle financially. This here thing you want to do is going to bring you in from the cold. This is out in the cold this is going to bring you into your true spiritual self this is a church here okay it's going to bring you in so you tell me do you want to come in to spirit and into your abundance and into who you're supposed to be right now it might be comfortable to stay there but i'm telling you start what you're supposed to be starting you can reinvent yourself open on the open to the rewards of change you have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. What is it that you know? What is it that you can help others bring wisdom to and knowledge in those areas? What is it? Let's get an angel message for you. Have faith and hope. 
because there's something positive in you on the horizon that you cannot see it. Wow. You know, it's not often that this card comes out, and it's came out the last couple of readings I've done. The divine is conspiring here to help you rebirth yourself, and they need you to work on your energy as to how you feel about it and understand that they've got you. They've got you, okay? So wolf spirit is about turning all of that wisdom and knowledge, all that that is you, and bringing it forward for other people to benefit from. And I, I dare to say bring other people out from in the cold as well. It's really important that you get on this. Something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see it. Well, that's beautiful. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Look at that, you guys. So it's about stepping into your own power, stepping into actually maybe not even your own power, but harnessing the power of the divine. Why? Because when I focus on my inner light, that's how you harness the power of divine. Focus on them and all things beautiful in the world. I see the world through the lens of love. How is it that your love, your wisdom, your knowledge can create a new world that we live in? There's something here and it's a big deal. This is a very big message for somebody out there. Definitely is. I love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.